What's up everybody, this is Igor in Russia and uh, in this video we're going to be talking, looking at uh, the Russian news, uh, newspapers actually, a couple of newspapers I brought with from Russia. I was of course uh, in Russia when this whole uh, tragedy, terroristic attack happened and, uh, and I experienced it alongside with any Russians, uh, all of this or hold this thing uh, i'm a foreigner guys uh, traveling to russia and filming russia on my channel please subscribe and uh, hope you find this interesting and uh, horrific news guys let's get into the video i got a couple of uh, news papers <coughs> sorry and right here is Izvestia. Izvestia is of course a legendary uh, newspaper uh, released since 1917 and one thing is that you must uh, notice and here is also Commerçant they both are black and white colored uh, and many others were during the next days and this is of course happening now uh, f uh, f four, five, six days after this horrific touristic attack and one thing I gotta say right in the beginning that I feel the anger and um, a huge disappointment but not surprising that the Western media started from feeling uh, well not just condemning the terroristic attacks of course because they had to in generic way I think but uh, like less than 24 hours the Western media started talking about not the uh, experiences of the Russian people they started talking about like different stuff they started blaming even if it's an inside job you know going to the typical uh, um, attack mode offensive uh, and focusing kind of uh, just I f it feels like the Western media because they have an agenda that's my my opinion and uh, my observation actually and uh, it feels like they uh, try to make sure that you people you Westerners don't feel too bad for Russians because of the war going on so let's make sure you keep focused on the matters that really do matter not the fact that uh, right next to European Union a huge terroristic attack happened and uh, so many people died uh, let's continue on this anti-Putin thing and uh, you know and uh, the general the general stuff so it's less than 24 hours and it became like this so really uh, disturbing stuff all right so uh, Izvestia we go, we're not gonna translate it all but here's of course front page one of the first magazines uh, releases right after the event here as you can see of course the crocus hall and if you don't know what happened uh, currently almost 150 people dead over 100 are hospitalized and the number can grow because there's a huge number of missing people still uh, from in moscow and i was supposed to be in moscow by the way and uh, and yes, yeah, speaking of about the terrorist, terrorists it's themselves, the media in the West, I'm not going to name names, but they actually started, they, the, the main news was look how bad they are that Russians treat their, treat these terrorists badly. That's like, that was even the, like the main news a uh, few days after. Oh my God, like, anyways, uh, shortly, in the summertime, Izvestia, in the summertime, I lived right across, when I was in Moscow, I lived across the famous Izvestia house building. So that's, uh, that was one thing I want to point out. Uh, it says, we mourn 22nd of uh, March, uh, right on the front page, and uh, the, the dates of an animal. That's what it says, it's like the numbers, the dates. And, uh, and it also says, for the bloody deed at Crocus, terrorists were promised 500k, uh, 500,000 rubles, not each, but all together, which is a very little sum of money. Divide that by 100. All right. Um, so it says uh, two of the terrorists received uh, instructions when they traveled to Turkey. So they received some instruction when they traveled to Turkey. Uh, others were attracted to this uh, deed, this horrific deed in, inside Russia. Uh, 
uh, the money were promised it says in the news here the money were promised to uh, not uh, not for each member but all together and that's a little lot of amount of money so it's uh, it's not about the money clearly the members were also planning something in caucus area uh, but were inter interrupted by the FSB. So who was behind the, pl the, uh, the planning? ISIS or Ukrainian secret service? And what benefits each of them? What would benefit? What, what would benefit be? The other news here, it continues also on the other page, but let's go, to, go like page by page. Then here it says, I, this is horrific. They, they were killing off people while they were still living right next to us. Horrific. And it actually tells a story of a babushka who were with her, with her, um, with her husband and uh, with, her, with her child. And the stories that I read in the news elsewhere also, like uh, they are so touching. And you and you, you you in the West won't hear it unless you maybe just have to listen to my videos or some other people's videos who are uh, uh, focusing on the on this thing. So uh, in Russia, right after the event, uh, tons of people went to donate blood, and it says that people come even even those come who are afraid of blood or needles. And there's like a picture of a huge line. And that's what I've. Sorry, there's a something going on out like construction thing, and uh, there's a. I saw lots of uh, news coverage me on uh, on the television in Russia. I just returned, and uh, there was pictures of like uh, hundreds of people in lines waiting to help. So the Russians are united in this. All right, turning the page, guys. So here's the also the events, event pictures, and also a map. So it says that, uh, let me clo get closer to you guys, so. It says 19, so they drove, uh, they drove to Crocus Hall, the terrorists drove Crocus Hall, 1950. Uh, it says here and shows the picture that the terrorists uh, leave the car at the parking lot and open fire right away. And they enter uh, the Crocus Hall and move towards the concert hall. And they're not stopping any fire, so they can walk in fire. I saw a horrific pictures when they were crossing that hall. And uh, there were people in like cornered, people that like, were cornered and they were just shooting nonstop. People cornered like this that are moving, they're just shooting, shooting, shooting. So when they enter the uh, the concert hall, they start the fire and also uh, still continue killing people. Here it said people uh, in Donbass are uh, uh, like um, caring for what happened. And uh, one people said that uh, the video in Krokus uh, remind me how I got shelled by Grad, by the Ukrainian side, of course, this is what it means here. And uh, on the day of uh, morning, check out the video, by the way, of the day of the morning, national morning. Uh, there's a Don Donetsk republics, these territories, uh, said that uh, they also have the day, of course, uh, of national tr uh, tr trauma. And in front of Donbass Opera, it's a movie theater, it says uh, 22nd of March, Krokus, DNR. Uh, is uh, mourning alone and a lot of like um, ha like makeshift memorials were created by the people and same thing in Donbass it says and there's an interesting point that's how the world uh, how the world reacted here we can see it and why this is important is because of course Russians know that the the world media is non-stop like uh, Say, saying only bad things about Russia and well and Russians uh, people have feel the sanctions even though it doesn't like uh, influence that much I think in my observation but still this is like interesting for the people because it is expected that uh, maybe uh, 
some people would care. And of course, one of the big pictures here is um, uh, in Dubai, that was the world's tallest building was lit in Russian tree color. Here's the Russian embassy in China, Peking, Beijing, and uh, Belgrade, uh, Serbia footballers, uh, f like uh, football supporters, took uh, had a banner as well. The world is mourning for the for the victims of the tragedy of 22nd March. Uh, from people from Europe all the way to Asia all the way to Latin America and Australia bring flowers to the Russian embassies. The world leaders showed their uh, respect or uh, support for the Russian people. Even though some of them showed their uh, res like uh, support in the most uh, most neutral way of how you say I'm not able to trust you know and yes then that's a uh, that's shameful. Politics more important than people, right? For some. All right. So here's the. Also, it tells about how did it, how the events happened. Went alone. We, we won't get uh, through it piece by piece because it is the same information that you've heard. Even though it's like I said, the media has changed, shifted its uh, interest of this quite, uh, quite quickly from the mourning of the people to uh, more politicized. And this thing is horrible. They killed the people who are still alive. That's horrific, guys. Let me tell you a few stories here. All right, there's a thing, there's one person who was, uh, went inside the hall, uh, left the uh, stuff, uh, clothing at the, uh, what do you, not clerk, what you call the cloak. And um, so somebody shouted, anybody who can get, get out, um, and the Galina went uh, went from uh, from under the body of her husband, thinking that he was probably dead. She came out uh, under his body, under the cover of his body, and she says to her uh, daughter, uh, "Get up! We need to get out." And they went, and they went through the bodies of the dead people uh, towards the. Uh, towards the um, exit and uh, and the daughter was actually partially shot well, shot she was wounded and uh, that was from the first page i remember but she don't until now she doesn't know where is is her husband because she's not in any list and yes all the bodies until now is like around hundreds that were uh, identified till now and uh, this here is uh, Yulia Chechina. She arrived to Volgograd only to hear the concert Picnic, the band Picnic that was playing there. And her friend brought her to the event. And now her friend is looking for her friend that went to the party, uh, went to the, uh, to the concert. Now she's looking to find her somewhere because she's not in the list and she cannot get in contact with her. Uh, from Krokos, Chechina wrote that she was able to survive though and her friend originally was supposed to go with her but uh, there were no more tickets so it was sold out <sighs> and um, how business reacted to these to the world uh, to this events business side for example of course uh, the taxis were offering free uh, this is my knowledge just uh, the taxis were offering free uh, delivery uh, drives the aviation companies uh, are ready to support uh, people uh, who have been influenced by this uh, tragedy. Then there was also, uh, I think it was, was it football club was support, was, uh, was it Zenit, I think, that was offering, uh, yeah, I think it was Zenit from St. Petersburg, was offering the, uh, some income all over to, the, to the fund of the people in support or for the tragedy all right so of course this is the headlines in russia and uh, then there's some other news as well there's news of course there's like uh, annual uh, anniversary year not anniversary but what you call it uh, since the uh, nato attack on serbia 
and Russian Federation uh, em ambassador says that NATO will hold responsibility in the bombardments of Yugoslavia in 1999 in the problem of Kosovo. He always says that uh, support needed, uh, uh, they're planning to uh, national, open a national project for uh, members of the special operation in Ukraine. Here they say, talk about Ukrainian forces using uh, chemical weapons in a systematic way. And what's the reaction of the Netherlands to Krokus City Hall? So they did, yes, they uh, released a statement, a statement, a statement in support of uh, the people uh, in the uh, in the event. All right. Shortly, this was uh, Izvestia right here and let's go check out this uh next we'll try check out the commerçant also uh, of course a big newsletter since 1917 and uh right here we have of course the front page that's the uh so there were so many flowers but uh you know what uh, what arises from the fire and falls down i forgot the ash ash was uh, covering the flowers and this is the, so I call them makeshifts. I don't know, is there any better word, but Stichini Memorial, makeshift a memorial by this Crocus City Hall uh, was, was, is full of non-stopping, never-ending uh, lines of people. On the 24th day, uh, on the day of the national morning that was announced by Putin, uh, people came to the Crocus City Hall with flowers. People support uh, donate blood. It says that the world, world shocking news. And same thing and how businesses are supporting uh, this uh, people, citizens, after the uh, terroristic attack. And let's bring up one thing, for example, here. One, one part of some, some banks so banks are supporting uh, the people uh, affected by this uh, event, by this uh, uh, tragedy, and some of them are notified publicly about it. VTB, Alifa Bank, Tinkoff Bank, MKB, Sofcom Bank, Rosbank, PSB, Gaz Gazprom Bank, uh, Bank St. Petersburg, Poshta Bank, which is the post office bank, and MTC Bank and others. So banks are supporting somehow. Then it says about that uh, this business center becomes uh, uh, becomes like a part of uh, infrastructure of the city, Moscow, and it goes to other news. But it's it's a smaller release. This one here. In some regions, there were uh, it wasn't too active. Like why some areas were voting less and they're like trying to make assumptions out of that analysis out of this uh, presidential elections over here. There says uh, the most uh, horrific events of my life says this babushka over here. And there's a, those, now it continues dark picture that ash was covering the flowers. I mean, it, this talking about that day where people came, as you can see, People came from all directions and it was non-stop. And I saw some of that already in St. Petersburg. And uh, here's a piece in the blood of Crocus and here's the Kamala Harris. West, after thinking about it, like uh, was, was condemning, was condemning the, uh, the actions. That's what it says here. Serbia is expecting escalation in on Ukraine in Ukraine. So guys, here's the news from Russia. Uh, what you guys think? Do you, if you if this video is inter is interesting, we're gonna do more of these. I've done this before and uh, I do them from time to time. If you want, we can go more detail. Right here, we just covered two magazines, newspapers, in a pretty quick manner. A migrant in Russia, a foreigner who was inside Russia when this uh, terroristic attack happened. Uh, I, I, f I, I felt horrible, um, especially when I came to lay flowers on this one of the uh, makeshift, so-called makeshift memorials 
in, uh, in Moscow region of St. Petersburg, uh, Moskovskaya. And check out that video in the link. And uh, guys, uh, hope you uh, found this interesting and subscribe to the channel, become members, and also click the notification bell to see my videos. Bye-bye.